Hey Aquarius, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading. We're going to take a look and see what messages are coming in for you guys over the next month or so, May going into June 2024, um, for my Aquarius folks out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. You know how we do here, right? So you could be an Aquarius or your person, whoever you're thinking about, whoever you're dealing with, your person of interest could be an Aquarius, okay? So please do take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want a personalized tarot reading, you know where to find me. Go to my website or even Etsy and book a reading there, whether it be video recorded just like this one or by Etsy message, okay? You can get your readings as soon as the next day, just depends on which reading you purchase, okay? So we're going to start off today with the Epiphany. Okay, this is one of my Oracle decks. You guys have seen this deck. It is available on Etsy for my fellow tarot and Oracle card readers. All right, so Aquarius, um, let's take a look. Aquarius. What messages do we have for Aquarius? First up, we have healing from heartbreak. So there could be someone here that you're thinking of, okay, that you're dealing with Aquarius who has broke your heart, okay? Three of swords, of the tarot right you are heartbroken there's loss there's grief there's some kind of emotional disappointment um yeah and healing so there's something that maybe um maybe you're taking a break from someone okay because of the hurt that they've caused you because you're so broken okay or something has broken i'm getting in the physical form this could be an emotional form give me more on this connection we have changes gonna come so uh, Spirit is saying that after some kind of heartbreak that you're going through, okay, once you heal from it, there's an opportunity for change, big change to come through, okay? Now, we also have like a light bulb, so there could be something you're realizing, something that you're seeing that you hadn't seen before, something that is, um, I feel like it was hidden, right? was hidden. And maybe there is opportunity where there's positive uh, transformation coming in with this change card. So we're going to see what this looks like. Let's jump right in. Give me the recent past. Some of you guys, you're not seeing how this change can happen. You're not seeing how it can be positive after this heartbreak that you've gone through. Okay. Give me the recent past. We have the full in reverse. So there could be someone that you are not trusting of. Someone that there are, there's some trust issues here. Maybe your person wasn't trusting of the connection of you. Maybe you're not trusting of them because of something they've done. This could be an Aries. We also have the devil in a verse and a judgment of verse. So all these major arcanas, big, big shifts in energy. In the recent past, someone here may have had some kind of toxic behavior, toxic way of thinking, belief, okay? Something that they may have done. Maybe they tend to self-sabotage. Maybe they have insecurities, okay? There's something here with the devil where someone had to let something go. Someone had to free themselves from this toxic way of thinking, belief, whatever this is, okay? Because there's some kind of chain bondage here. I also feel like because of the devil, someone made a bad decision about you and the connection, okay? The judgment verse is suggesting that someone made a bad judgment call. They didn't make the best decision, okay? Um, and it's because of this, okay? Because it's a devil to blame, right? There's something that they got themselves caught up with. This could be a karmic. And because of that, Aquarius, maybe you no longer trust this person, okay? This could be a Capricorn or again an Aries. Now, we do have the Eight of Cups in the verse. This is suggesting someone here may have walked away. A curious person could have walked away from you. You could have walked away from them. Regardless, I feel like there's someone that is returning. Someone is like, I care for you. I miss you. The sun. There's a big, big enlightenment. There's truth. There's coming. Uh, truth could be coming out with this card. There's also healing and peace, right? So it feels like with the sun, if someone walked away from you, they could be now realizing that, wow, you make me happy. You always make me happy. I see joy. I see a future with you. Maybe something they hadn't seen before. And the Emperor in reverse could be the uh, Divine Masculine, could be the provider, the protector, someone that you're dealing with, okay? The energy right now and the connection feels like something may have gone down in the wrong direction. Something here may, um, I almost feel like someone is requiring to take lead, right? Something isn't really working out right now with the Emperor in reverse and it's requiring someone to do more, right? to step it up. So I definitely feel the sun is like a big breakthrough energy, an opportunity where someone is wanting to heal, someone's wanting to recover, someone sees joy, prosperity, happiness in the future, but it could require someone to revisit the connection with the eight of cups in reverse, okay? 
Let's take this card out. Okay, so let's see what's happening externally. Two of Wands, Page of Cups in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the World in reverse. Okay, let's get one more card for that. Death in reverse. I'm not surprised if death came out because um, we have changes going to come. Okay, so when I look at these cards here, there's someone here that is kind of like trying to make a decision regarding you, Aquarius. They're trying to make a decision regarding the connection. Like, what are we going to do? Are we going to move forward, uh, left or right? Are we going to revisit this? Someone here may be wanting to apologize, right? We have the page of cups. So there's the energy of like, I'm sorry, I care for you. I want to be forgiven. Are you thinking of me? Because I'm thinking of you, right? Someone here definitely has love for you still. And I think the cups are showing that, right? Now, something has undoubtedly, undoubtedly gone the wrong way. And I definitely get a sense with the death card, there is an opportunity for a resurrection, for a redo, for someone to reassess this, right? So the death is, is that energy. The wheel, the world, I definitely get a sense this could be karmic, right? It could be someone that you have some kind of karma to clear out with, right? They could feel like something is out of your control, right? No matter what you do, things go down uh, in a direction that you don't want it to. But the death is going to change that, okay? So we're going to see what this is all about. But I definitely get a sense of someone is wanting to reach out and offer their cup. But maybe they don't know how. And I think that's why it's coming out in reverse. Someone here could be very indecisive as to how... They're going to get you to forgive them, okay? Because whatever they did, I feel like it was so bad that maybe you decide, you know what? I'm going to cut this person loose. <laughs> the devil in reverse. I'm done with them. I'm going to cut them loose. Um, they have not done right by me. So let's get the outcome. Four of swords in reverse. We have the six of swords in reverse and the nine of swords. A lot of swords. It could be you, Aquarius. There could be a lot of stress coming in. There could be a lot of overthinking, a lot of anxiousness. Some of you are in your head, maybe about um, a decision that someone has proposed to you. Maybe someone here wants to resurrect or have this redo and you're kind of like, I don't know, right? So there could be a lot of stress coming in because someone here wants to resolve some kind of past conflict with the Six of Swords. Someone wants peace with this card. Someone wants to go back to something where maybe you guys had a great connection and then something went wrong, right? And you guys never really addressed it. That's kind of what the Six of Swords is. Someone wants to make peace. But there is some stress with that because the Four of Swords is kind of like, I don't know where to start. Someone's in their head. Someone is in great conflict, okay? There's a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety with the Nine of Swords. And feeling like something is just like, I can't do this. This is too much, right? So let's jump right in. Let's get some clarity. This is for Aquarius folks out there. Clear, concise, accurate messages for Aquarius. All right. Healing from heartbreak and change is going to come. Let's get a card there. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Again, if you want a reading, certainly do um, look at this description box below. You can get a reading from me as soon as the next day. All right, so the star. So the challenge is to maybe be open to healing a connection, Aquarius. This could be you. Maybe you guys don't have as much hope. Maybe you're a little bit um, pessimistic. You're not as optimistic that something here can recover. But the star is hopes and wishes and dreams. So some of you guys, you're having to really think about, well, what is your dream, right? Is it possible? What do you hope for, right? So um, I also feel the star is healing and recovery. So yeah, that is something that you are being challenged with to heal, to recover from something that could have been very difficult for you and recognize that, yeah, change is going to come in for you. Believe that change is going to come in for you with the star, okay? Now, in the recent past, there's some trust issues, right? The magician card card came out in the past. So someone may have, you know, tricked you. Maybe some it could be someone you felt has tricked you. Maybe they really didn't trick you, but you may have felt um they did because we have a blind sighting energy. The sun in reverse and nine of swords. Someone may have felt like, oh well, you didn't tell me this. You kept me in the dark. You didn't share this information with me. You never told me what was really going on. You kept me in this really dark place, right? The sun in reverse. There's a lack of light, there's a lack of truth. Um, and the Nine of Swords is stress, anxiety, and fear, right? So there could be something that you may have found out in a recent past occurrence that really like made you feel like, what happened here? Like, you don't trust me. You blindsided me, right? Um, and so that may have kept something from maybe manifesting the way that you wanted it to. 
okay? Um, I also feel the devil. Maybe someone was dealing with something behind closed doors and they weren't sharing it with you, Aquarius, okay? And that is something that they can regret because the Nine of Swords, maybe it's something that they really struggled with and was really challenging them and plagued them, right? Um, but they never really shared that with you. Now, with the Eight of Cups in reverse, I do feel like, again, someone has walked away and someone is now being challenged to revisit the connection, the chariot, to give it another go. Someone is like, we have so much opportunity here. We have the ability to move this forward, right? Let's make it happen, a chariot. Let's push forward. Let's have that victory. So I see that card, um, that energy coming in. This could be with a cancer. We have the four cups here and we have the king of cups in reverse. I definitely get a sense that someone feels rejected. Someone feels like you pushed me away. You made me feel like I wasn't good enough, right? How could you say you care about me if you did this, right? So there's definitely energy, Aquarius, I'm seeing there. Um, but I also feel like the four of cups is feeling like there's been a missed opportunity. So someone here could be feeling like, like we have, we still have this opportunity to make something happen with the sun, right? There's potential. There's a beautiful outcome that lies ahead of us. Now, I think the king of cups in verse and the emperor can also suggest Aquarius as two people that you could be considering, um, between maybe there's two people that are interested in you and one person has to be rejected. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can't choose both. The two of wands, it could be literally that energy. Maybe someone has to make a decision between two lovers, you or your person. Queen of Cups, Six of Wands, and a verse in the Judgment. So there's a big decision here, and I feel like there's the energy of like, okay, what's your choice? Make a decision. There has to be finality here. Someone could definitely be wanting to apologize to you for something not working out the way that they wanted it to, something not being victorious or failing you in some way, Aquarius. Someone feels like they've let you down or failed you, and for that, they're very sorry and apologetic, okay? So there's some kind of big decision to maybe even make up for that. Give me the wheel in the world. Four of Pentacles in the verse, the Four of Wands and the Ace of Swords. I like it because at the end of the day, there's a lot of communication coming in. There's a lot of truth, okay? There's communication, open dialogue. You and your person are going to have a conversation. There's a cutting away of things that don't work, cutting away of things that ended um, in the past. And what I'm seeing is a Four of Wands. So someone is wanting to come together in union. Someone is wanting to make peace. Someone is wanting to solidify things, right? Four of Wands could be your twin flame. I also see with the Four of Pentacles in verse, someone is saying, I'm willing to give this up. I'm willing to do things differently. I'm willing to compromise. I'm willing to sacrifice, right? I'm willing, uh, perhaps, not, not going to hold on to this, you know, grudge or disappointment. I'm going to let it go. So there's something about letting go and being open to change. Someone is being open to change in a way that maybe they had it in the past. And that could be bringing union. That could be bringing some kind of cohesion, right? Four wands coming together in a home or family or marriage, um, and then the Ace of Swords, I love it because someone is like, I'm willing to be honest with you. Here's the honest truth. Here are my cards. Here's what's really going on. Now, coming in in terms of the outcome, Four of Swords, Six of Swords, Nine of Swords. A lot of um, swords all coming out in reverse. This is the letting go of anything that could be, I'm getting just conflict, drama, anxiety, fear, frustration. There's a lot of thinking about the past. If I were to do this, what would it look like, right? Ace of Cups in a verse, Seven of Pentacles in a verse, and a Ten of Cups. There is an energy of wanting to invest better. Maybe something in the past that you and your person invested in did not come into fruition. And there's a feeling of a missed opportunity. And I think because of that, Aquarius, you may be giving something another chance. You may be revisiting a connection or revisiting a situation from the past that maybe you and your person were in conflict about, but now you can look at it differently because there's something that you felt was of great potential that maybe you didn't actually utilize, right? You didn't really um, get a chance to take advantage of. So the Ten of Cups coming in is telling me that there's an opportunity to be happy. There's an opportunity to get your Ten of Cups in some way or form with regard to the situation. It just comes down to what you choose, okay? Now with the star, your biggest challenge is hope, being positive, right? Believing, having faith, and healing, recovering from something here, okay? That could have been very hurtful and drastic, heartbreak, loss, whatever that may be. Aquarius, that is what I'm seeing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out soon. Take care.